Today on The Occult Detective, we're going to talk about Monsters at the Crossroads by David Weatherly. For my birthday, my wife and son picked me up Monsters at the Crossroads, Cryptids and Legends of Indiana by David Weatherly. Uh, this is a series of books that Weatherly has been producing, uh, covering each state and the legends and cryptids that are associated with each. I was really excited uh, to tear into this book. Uh, it's very well written. Uh, I'd not I'd not read any of Weatherly's work. I was familiar with him. I had seen some interviews with him and uh, seemed very knowledgeable and sincere in his approach. And the book is well done. Um, it's very thorough. It covers the breadth of the state. There is all the, the stuff you would expect. You know, the various river creatures and lake monsters and the like, which are the uh, seemingly predominant uh, folk tales uh, in the Hoosier state. But I was thrilled that he focused a lot of his energies on a subject that I've been very passionate about, and that is the various Bigfoot and werewolf uh, sightings that have littered the state. Um, I live in the heart of what one might call the Bigfoot territory of Indiana. Um, I've heard stories about uh, the Sasquatch here since the early 70s and um, yeah so he captures a lot of those uh, stories here stories around Tipton, Kokomo uh, sadly not the Mississippi which is where the majority of the stories I was uh, familiar with uh, take place in the Peru, Indiana area. Uh, and same goes for the werewolf stories. I really enjoyed the early French trapper tales, uh, the Loup Guru, Dogman of, of Fairmount and, and such that get mentioned. Uh, really exciting if you're into Bigfoot lore, if you're interested in modern werewolf sightings. Um, the book covers that and it's well worth the read, particularly if you're a Hoosier as I am. Now, the biggest criticism I have of the book uh, comes in the form of the lack of information on the Piazza, which is my personal favorite folktale, uh, native lore. Um, anybody familiar with my website has heard me wax poetically about the little people of what is now called Hobbit Land, uh, which is near Marion, Indiana. Um, it is where they currently hold the Mississippi 1812 reenactment. That uh, section of the Mississippi River is a hotbed of paranormal activity and a lot of that is because of the uh, Piazza as the uh, Miami called them. Now in the book they do have a section on Puckwoodgee. Now, it is my opinion that these puckwudgies, which is what they are called in the Massachusetts area, are the piazza. But obviously he did not get a, uh, a good sense of the folklore of my particular region. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, like I said, if there's a criticism of the book, 
it's that he seemed to miss what I consider the most magical part of the state, and that's uh, this area that was the last uh, Native American reservation in the state, and that's this Missinawa area um, where I live. It has a rich history, uh, folk tales, and uh, cryptid stories. And uh, but that said, it's a great book. I just I loved it. It was a, a quick read, uh, primarily because you know just so much of it. You know you're you're kind of hungry uh, for the information that he's giving you, and it's uh, he does a fantastic job of taking all these varied sources and putting them in one nice little condensed package. If you're into high strangeness, the weird and unusual, then Monsters at the Crossroads is a book for you. That's all we have today. Appreciate you stopping by as always. Keep on reading.